Yo guys, it's Holly here and I'm with Dr. Lane. Yo, Holly. yo! And it has been a really, really, really long time since we have filmed anything. In fact, I forgot what it meant to film. I don't know how you feel about it, but... I film all the time. Okay, well then I haven't filmed in months. It feels like months. You've got to have your environment just right for you to be able to film. <laughs> you know, I just haven't been here for fucking a month. <laughs> Excuse my friend. So yeah. Uh, how, how fucking dare you? I know, what the fuck? <laughs> so, let's get on with the good stuff. Remember last time and you were like, I said like dick or something and you are like, oh, that's just so vulgar. I'm like, we say F-bombs all the time. F-bombs is fine. I think, and I, I'm sure you guys agree with me, I think it's totally fine to put F-bomb to exert mm. like an exaggeration because it really does help to create the scene. But like when you're just talking about dicks, balls, Ball jam. <laughs> I don't know. Just ball like, jam? <laughs> what the thing. fuck is ball jam? What kind of balls you've been looking at? They ain't mine. <laughs> I think I just made that up. But that is not appropriate. Fuck on the oh. other hand. Hmm, that's a different story. Anyway, I hope you're not offended, guys. You probably wouldn't be watching this if you uh, were easily offended because, ha, huh, lame. Testicles. So, the last time we actually provided an update of my journey was back in Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. Like we're talking the December the seventh, so it's now eighth. Eighth. We did the day. Oh, after. the day after the show. So it is now Monday the sixth of January here. Um, it's almost a month has passed. So we've had a lot happening in the last month. <laughs> you need me to cue you? No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> usually you don't shut up, so I'm like, oh, Lane's going to say something now. I'll just sit here and wait for him to say something, and he looks at me. <laughs> oh, well, I'm trying to be... Uh, <laughs> I've read your comments. I know I'm not welcome in the videos. So, um... <laughs> you do talk a lot. So, yeah, we, we have um, had my show. Sorry that I'm losing my voice. I'm also sick, and uh, that's about the right time of the year to be sick. It is winter in Florida. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to let you flounder around while you lose your voice. Everybody though. is sick Since you all complain about me not to talking too much. <laughs> so, yeah, my show was really well. I think we did the recap video. We talked about how I went. I see you guys want to hear that again. Um, so, we've had a lot happen. Um, we launched the reverse dieting pre-sales um, the day after the show. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yep. So uh, the reverse dieting guide is now available for purchase. Hold up, you gotta you gotta work your timeline back because they don't understand. What? So we had a pre-sale for a week. Yes, we did. That was done. That ended on the fourteenth or fifteenth, I think. And then we have just launched on January first the reverse diet guide for. By the way, Helm. Just for my, me and my boy Andrew, because this really fucking annoys us. Because no one knows what a pre-sale actually so means. So when it's a pre-sale, yeah. it means you're buying something at a huge discount before it's available. Before! So, we had no less than, I don't know, fucking a thousand emails of like, where's my book? I just I bought it. Where's my book? Why can't I get my book? Because it's a fucking pre-sale! Yeah, guys, so, that's, that's pretty bad. If you order from yeah. us on a pre sale, <laughs> it is likely that it will take you a few weeks to receive your book. However, we are very quick turnarounds in terms of pre sales. Our longest pre sale to release was probably about 10 weeks, and that was Fat Loss Forever. Mm -hmm. Now, the book, fortunately for you guys, if you have not ordered, is available. Pre sale is done. You can't get the pre sale price. However, until Wednesday this week, which I don't know if this video will get up in time, it will. Um, but when you see it, go there, use the code REVERSE20, with a capital R, REVERSE20, and you get 20% off until Wednesday. And that's so, midnight? It finishes at midnight Eastern midnight, Standard Time? 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this video, Wednesday. This video goes up on Wednesday, so it, you guys still get have Get your time. shit together. Yeah, so go I don't want to get emails from people like, oh, why didn't the code work for... This is what I get all the time, too. Why didn't the the code, code didn't work for me. That's because you fucking put it in eight hours after the, the sale was done, you fucking idiot. <laughs> You're so ripped off about this. Sorry, I, I just, I, I can't... <clears throat> stupid people... No, I, and I do. I have to say, like, it's pretty. If you had to deal with the emails, yeah, it would. You would. You would just actually implode. I would blow because you have like my tolerance for stupid is actually higher than yours. That's People true. don't realize that. that you just won't even talk to somebody. Yeah, I'll actually like try to talk <laughs> to somebody. You just won't even talk to them. All right, I'm done ranting. Okay. You asked me to talk. I'm done. <laughs> I know, and this is how it ended. <laughs> 
Just, I feel like I should get up and just like flip this table. Just throw it out. Just Fuck! <laughs> there is a really big window just to the right of us. <laughs> it would actually work quite well. <laughs> what is it? Where do they put this McCafe anyway? <laughs> McDonald's. So, yeah. After, cocaine. <laughs> after, oh my God, raging lane. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, after um, after the uh, reverse lighting launch, we actually uh, got to have a little bit of time in New York. So, I have been there when I was 21. So, it was almost like a 10 year anniversary for me to go to, to New York. And it was winter. We didn't get snow. We got rain. Fuck you, New York. We but, did get snow as we were leaving on the did, last it, day. It snowed the morning we flew out. Yeah. But, um, God, it was, it was really beautiful. We got to rug up, have all our layers on, and umbrellas. Did you say rug um, up? Rug up, yeah, get warm. And we went to the Rockefeller Center. We got to see the Christmas tree with all of that the was beautiful cool. lights. We got to go to Times Square uh, and eat some really good food in some really good company, too. So we had a really good time. And then... <clears throat> I think we had like two weeks of work. Well, I feel like no, I can a week. See, see a hair on my No, you're fine. A week. Okay. So we and had you, a week. Then you left me on my birthday. Yeah, went to San Diego. Two, da two days before. We had we birthday were... gate 2019. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> birthdays are just another day. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. Is that right? You can skip my birthday. Oh, usually, is that right? Usually I'm busy anyway. So. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I actually left poor old Wayne two days before his birthday. I flew out to San Diego. I, I, I approved the trip. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. No, you, I would have had you with me. Trust me. But you. I'm a pretty. Children. I'm a pretty. Children. I'm a pretty fucking cool <laughs> husband. I'm just saying. So I did organize a little bit. Most husbands would have guilt tripped the fuck out of you. We, you got cute presents from your kids and from me. And I did. Then yes. We went for dinner. We had an early birthday dinner, and then we also had Napa Valley. So that's coming. So yeah, I got to fly to San Diego. I uh, did a couple of collaborations, uh, one of which was with uh, Dr. Spencer Nadolsky. So he and I uh, got to hang out and do some training together. Turns out he's got very weak glutes. <laughs> Poor guy, I was trying to get him All to All right, do. so reframe this conversation. <clears throat> and what context is that in? Because that didn't come out very well. <laughs> <laughs> we did some training together. There we go. I said that. You were that part. We did some Apparently. Together. Um, <laughs> I need to see the comments right now. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. But I, I, I trained with this fitness model. She had really strong glutes. <laughs> yeah, I tried to teach uh, Spencer a few of I did see his clams, they weren't very good. That, the side raising hip clams. He just floundering around, couldn't get in position, and like just the, the knee drive just didn't exist. So he's got to work on his butt. But, yeah, we got to hang out, um, got yeah, to uh, do a photo shoot. That was the main reason why I flew out. Um, <clears throat> so I got to uh, team up with Ryan, uh, is it Astadami? How do you say it? Astamendi. 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 That's why I didn't want to pronounce it. Astamendi. <sighs> what? I'm surprised you get your own last name right. Oh, pronunciation. I just don't want to make a mistake. And there we go. I already made one. So apologies, Ryan. <laughs> um, he has a huge following, with over a million universities. Five. He started back in the heyday. He's been a photographer for a very long time, and wow, I got some amazing uh, photos. And that was three weeks post, two weeks post show. Mm -hmm. So I really had to keep my shit together for this reverse diet. Mm. So uh, that was actually going really well. I think I was still weighing in at sixty-two kilos the day of uh, my photo shoot, and I think I was about sixty point five on show day. Yep. So I uh, was very, very diligent, very careful, still employing all the good behaviours, taking my scale everywhere, weighing everything, <clears throat> just until my cal calories are recovered. Then, finally, I get to see my husband. Yay! He flies out to Napa Valley. Um, I think it was Monday the 16th of December. So Don't think you really had to see me that day. <laughs> maybe not, I'm not sure. It was kind of late in the evening, wasn't it? So... Um, we had a really good time in Napa. Mm. I must say, I wish that it was uh, a different season. It was very dreary for most of the time we were there. Yeah, it was pretty even. So it was it, fun. We got to hang out with Shelly and Jeff, and they're awesome. So yes, we did. We got to go with a couple of uh, some friends of ours, a couple, Shelly and Jeff, and uh, it really just limited itself to drinking. Like. <laughs> When it's rainy, you can see how drinking like, and food, food and drinking. Like when it's cold, winter and raining, like that's all you want to do. So thanks, thankfully, we're all strong-minded and we combat some of that. And we went to the gym most days. In fact, I think we probably went to the gym six out of seven days. 
Yeah, I'd say the two most fun days were the days we drank all day. <laughs> oh, really? True. It's sad, but true, isn't it? Uh, we did it. So the first one we did, <clears throat> we hired a uh, driver in a car. No, no, the first one was the oh, bike tour. Oh, that was the bike tour. First one that was, was actually my favorite. So we all got on bikes, 10.30, as I've been <laughs> made aware in the past. It was 10.30, not 10. At 10 a.m. in the morning, we went on the bike. Is that right? Yes, you always exaggerate how early things are. <laughs> it wasn't early. We had to get up at 3.30 in the morning and get on these bikes. It was insane. <laughs> the roosters weren't even crowing yet. <laughs> yeah, there was no lights. So, Meanwhile, it's actually 11 a.m. in the morning. And it was such a beautiful here. day, too. It was, it was nice. the only sunny day, or one of the only sunny days. Thank gosh. It was. And uh, we had two, only two wine stops. And I thought to myself, well, I've done winery tours before. I'm like, two, it's that many. But... When you think about it, we actually ended up yeah, but they were very liberal with the pores. They were very liberal. <laughs> so we rode, I think it was 12 miles. So you swerving <clears throat> down the road on your bike. Yeah, no, that was that definitely didn't happen. We had a safe footpath with helmets. <laughs> we had a really good time at one of the wine wineries in particular. Um, Salinas. Salinas was, was very cool. So that's a winery where... Um, uh, winemakers from anywhere in the region or world for that matter can actually go to the facility and use all of their equipment to make their own wine uh, so they have different um, I guess equipment for different types of wine and you can go and use their stuff if you don't have a, a facility of your own so yeah we get to try a few I think that's why all of you guys really enjoyed the wine there yeah Chef's, really chef Jeff's favorite wine was that one that kind of reminded us of a um, the Japanese uh, beer <clears throat> that was quite crisp and mm -hmm. yeah so I think all of us really enjoyed that and then we got to ride home <laughs> so we spent a fun day mm -hmm. bubbling around on bicycles and just yeah enjoying the scenery it was very pretty yeah I would I don't know if I'd go back but it was nice to go I'd go with a bigger group I think it would be fun to do some of the tours so we went to another one called Bee Cellar yeah, that's cool. um, and that they had food pairings as well, and it, again, it was, we got some sun. That was the day we had the driver. Yep. And this is after Lane's sculling expedition. Are you ready? Hit me. You're you're gone. Oh god. Lane doesn't get drunk often. Oh. I'm impressed, Lane. Oh. Yeah, I know it. Um, How's it taste, baby? What flavors? <laughs> what, are the, what are the notes of the... Yeah, now tell us about it. Nice tenons. <laughs> nice tenons. <laughs> Seems like a good year. <laughs> you say that blast. Say say that blast, because that's going to be tasty. <laughs> How's the Merlot? Oh. Yep, good. I didn't care for the Merlot. Didn't care. Didn't care. Or the Cab Sab. <laughs> or the Cab Sab. <laughs> this is a Zypher. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spit oh, it. Yeah. How's that one? Damn. Right. You really just went to town. I, I finished my... Well, they, so I, we finished at the tasting, and then, like, Jeff and Shelly and you, you had some left. There's, like, all this wine left. And it's 40 bucks a pop. And it's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? So I just was like, all right, if we're getting up and leaving, I'm not going to waste money on this. So I just... Popped it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah and I just disgusted everyone in that in that place. They just, you know, because everyone's like... Yeah, the heathen... <laughs> heathen lane escapes. Meanwhile, Lane's like... <laughs> we, luckily, there was only us and one other couple in there. So yeah, we really, we had a good... One thing about me, you guys probably know this already, but I give zero fucks what anybody else thinks. Yeah, that's really true. It One drives her crazy, but she secretly also yeah, likes it. Yeah, I actually really admire that. <laughs> so, yeah, then we went to another one, which was so cool. It was underground. They would made, like, a cave. That was Bee Cellars. Yes. Uh, they did food pairings, and, um, yeah, you kind of see all the barrels where they're all stored. Um, when they say food pairings, that means you get, like, a leaf. <laughs> a like, leaf? This big of food. Yeah, like, there's a name for those types cool. of foods. <laughs> Small portions. Yeah, wasn't <laughs> impressed. But anyway, the wine was good. It was good. So then we came home and we Christmas had... Christmas Eve. We flew home Christmas Eve and our flight was delayed. So we didn't get home until 10 o'clock and then we had to go and meet... Um, uh, 
Heather and Daryl. Heather and Daryl to pick up some Christmas gifts. So again, shout out to Heather and Daryl Photography. Mm -hmm. uh, they are located here in Tampa. Yeah. They put we together got... a bunch of amazing things for us for our Christmas gifts from wedding our photos. wedding album to some fra beautiful framed photos. Um, I have a huge <laughs> canvas which is it needs to be put up in our room. I wish I got a picture for Lane for uh, part of his Christmas present. Yeah, so it's basically a porno picture of her. It's about as big as this wall. I mean, it's not actually porno. It's just a really nice it's a, it's a long photo tray. of a, her and some nice lingerie. Yeah, well, like, oh, I'm never home, yeah. so now you can just, yeah. yeah, there's my yeah, I was going to say, it'd be really nice if I came home and you were on the bed in that pose, so that's why in I the lingerie. There was so much yeah, stuff. That's great. I, I was really like, what can I get? She gave me that with a bottle of jerkins. <laughs> It's like me on a bed, so I was like, what can I give him to really replicate, like when I'm never home, so yes. I'll just put a picture of me on a bed. Cool. Such a good gift. I'm such a good wife. Yeah. I'm going to send you. I'm shout just going to them. You. I'm just going to DM you a dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't need that. I really wouldn't do much. Maybe send me a cucumber. <laughs> anyway. The fuck? I feel like we should stop this and have a conversation now. <laughs> no, we don't. Is there something I need to know? Mm. No. I get the job done, God damn it. I'm, here's me trying to bloody promote poor Heather and Daryl, and this is it. <laughs> the reason I wanted to bring that up is because so many of us uh, have our weddings, have all these special events, and we have all these photos, and they just stay on our phones. Um, I know, like, we're really time poor. I, as much, I would love to do that. I enjoy craft. I am quite a creative person but it's not my priority. So those things just don't get done. Anyway, so I had Christmas with the kids. Yes. That was fun. I whipped the, up a storm in hours, like literally yeah. an hour. <laughs> after you- Catatonically whipped after up you a storm. After you had a catatonic anxiety attack because like, people were coming over. Well, we had to do Christmas presents in the morning and then it was three o'clock and we had guests coming at five. I'm like, how am I meant to prepare Christmas in two hours and pretend to involve myself in Christmas and really focus on cooking. Like I just do one thing at a time well. I don't do multitasking. Mm -mm, not good. Okay. The kids had fun. So some of the who don't know, Robert, my son, is autistic and um Livia is like the exact opposite of Robert. So she's Robert's lame. very she's just a small version of Wayne. She really is. She's she so really loud. is. She's very loud. Um I but she's very sad, she's also I mean again, like Lane, very sweet, very caring. Yes. You would agree with that. Oh yeah. So Livia is just like ripping like a buzzsaw through the presents. She's even like, we're trying to get, so Robert doesn't really open his gifts that often. Like he will a little bit, but mm -hmm. he's not like, he gets excited, but he doesn't really like rip into his gifts. It's not, it's just not him. No. But Liv is like, like we're trying to get Robert a chance to open presents. And before we can even like let Robert, Liv's like, Shh, just ripping off all the paper <laughs> and everything. But they had a good time and they got some gifts that they really liked, so. Yeah, good. scooters especially. So yeah, they did like the scooters. They both get really good at them, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So right, we had a bit of a friends miss. We had our Chino and Nina yep. come over with Aria for a Christmas dinner, which um, was fun. Yeah. Managed to break glasses and spill wine, and you had like a whole bottle of wine to yourself. Well, that's probably how. No, actually, you know what? That, that did not come first. Plus a lot of Brussels sprouts, Spilling. onions, everything that activated your IBS so yeah. later. Yep. Started out the evening catatonic, ended the evening catatonic. It was basically catatonic, usually Christmas Day is for me. Seems to be a bit of a running thing. Uh, and then, and then finally, we had some time to work <laughs> over the weekend, catch up, since we had no time. And then uh, New Year's really yeah. rolled around. New Year's was fun. That was fun. We got Matt and Teresa, um, yes. friends of ours. And Teresa's actually going to be a new employee coming up here next month. And Teresa will be a new coach. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we went out at Armature Works for a New Year's Eve gala, and that was fun. Mm -hmm. We drank a lot. Don't worry. Ubered home. <laughs> I think that's why I'm so sick. I just think about the last two weeks of my life, and my body's like, what are you doing? You've, you've drank so much alcohol. <laughs> I thought I could handle it. I always have this idea that I can, I'm invincible. Oh, you always, I'm like, no, you're, you're, I'm you're like, actually ridiculous. I have to like calm you down because you put, first off, you put like 80 things on a list to get done for a day of which two of them are reasonable to get done. And then it gives you anxiety that you can't get them all done. And then you're useless the rest of the day because you're just laying on the bed catatonically, uh, <laughs> not able to do anything. 
So high achiever, yes. man, high achiever. Yes. So really. yeah, I really do things. I'm all or nothing. But we 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 got a lot of stuff done. We did. Um, there's a lot of cool shit coming up this month, especially. Um, we can't really talk about it just yet. But yeah, we can. We okay, can we have see. a nutrition coaching app that's going to be coming out very soon. The app is done. We've been using it for a while. It's about now. it's about to go to beta test. It works extremely well. Um, I have not had one update where I've gone. Oh, I would do that differently. Yeah. Every single update has been like exactly what I would do as a so coach. So it's a coach. Yeah, it's, it's literally a, so nutrition coaching app. <clears throat> We're super excited. That is just, I'm just waiting for the developers to go, yes, you can, you can release it now. I'm like, hey, time soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that'll be fun. So anyways, back to the core of this, which is your update for your physique and all that kind of stuff. You were 63 kilos this morning. Yeah. So it is a month, a month past my show and I am one and a half kilos. I haven't quite blown it just yet. <laughs> haven't blown it yet. I feel like there's been a couple of days I have absolutely made massive boo-boos. Um, I've been ill-prepared, I've been fatigued and tired, it is always late in the day, uh, and I know my weakness. Let's go through the fatigued, dark, work is it done, work is it done. children, yeah. Uh, yeah. what else? Mess. Mess. Uh, and loud noises. Loud noises. So that's basically every day of my life. <laughs> so I have to struggle through that every day of my so life. So we have a lot of, I think 2020 is a lot of hopefully going to be personal development. Yes. So that you're able to tolerate those stresses Yeah, better. I'm definitely getting some help with uh, stress management <laughs> as of this week. So, so, yeah, I think... I actually just got done reading a study that actually um, suggested perception. that it's it's not stress that actually causes harm to your body. It's, the it's actually your perception of stress. Mm -hmm. So, because everybody has stress. Like, I, it pisses me off so much when people are like, oh, I'm just stressed out. Welcome to the fucking human race. Like, if you want to do anything with your life, you're going to have stress. That's normal. Mm -hmm. But one thing, like, I think I've done a pretty good job. Specific stresses will get me to where I'm, like, angry and yelling and whatnot. Mostly like, driving in cars. <laughs> um, but for cars. the most part, I would say that I usually have, I'm able to kind of step back and not, like, like, go to 10 out of 10 on the anxiety scale. Would you agree with that? Exactly. I'm pretty good at being able to do that. Yeah. Or if I do, I just go yell and then I get out of my system and I'm okay. I wish that I could have the, like a similar coping strategy. I'm just going to try, try yelling. stepping outside and screaming really loud. Yeah, that's that's great. Does. I can't tell you the number of times I have been in the kitchen and like something has happened and I just, all of a sudden, I just hear this grown man screaming like, in the top of the Outside of the neighbor, I'm like, our poor neighbors must wonder what the fuck is going on. <laughs> or it's in the back bedroom, like I can still hear you, Lane. <laughs> so what are you what are your macros at right now? It's still not high enough, but it, it's still giving me some flexibility and it's been Which very, is very conservative. I'm still my protein target has not changed. I haven't brought it down yet, but I might. Um one fifty protein is kind of my go to. It seems to hit the foods that I enjoy quite well. Um, my carbohydrates are 165 and my fats are 55. So I think that comes out to about 17. So you're going to up those this week or are you going to keep the same? I still haven't had a good routine, a good, uh, full week of not being sick, not feeling tired and fatigued and grossness. So I think I will do one more week here. What? I think you go up to I'm sick. Seven. I'm not going to be able to put in the same amount of training. My body is fighting me at the moment. So I know that my outfit. Yeah, imagine that when you like force your body to go to the gym when you feel like shit. Right. Because, oh, I just got to get my energy expenditure up. Let, you need to recover. You need to recover. Okay, so what do you suppose I do this week for training? Well, I think on days you're able to train, I think you could easily take your carbs up to 170 and that's not a big deal. Okay. Um, and that's a very small increase. Yeah, it's 20 okay. calories. Yeah. Um, and at least keep pushing yourself forward. And then if you're not able to go to the gym, then just reduce them by 20, 30%. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. All right. 170 carb this week. Voice of reason. Yeah. And 57. Sure. <laughs> that two sure. grams. Okay. I'm taking an increase. <laughs> you. So that'll still keep me just under 1800, I think. Um, so, and hopefully with a consistent week, I'm really hoping that I can find this goal. Well, you've got your meals cooked, so that's, that's I do. Helpful. Meals are prepped. I uh, did some prep yesterday, afternoon, evening. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully I can have a really good week. 
I haven't had a chance to sit down and do my goal setting yet. That was something that I wanted to do this weekend and life just... Yeah, you had a freak out last week. You're like, oh, I'm lost. I, do, I, I just don't really know what to do with my I life. Really do. I, I need to have a, a, like a trajectory to see where I'm going and what I'm going to be doing like with business, my personal life. I just need to know what the heck I'm doing. Or I just feel like I'm spinning my wheels. So... Um, <laughs> You're adorable. I know. I like direction. Um, so yeah, it's so hopefully I get to do that this week. So I don't know what I'm doing with my training. I think that I'm going to do a powerlifting meet, but I also know that it's not my favorite, most favorite thing, but it also keeps me happy in the gym um, and motivated. Well, plus you get to do it with me, the one in May, you can do it with me. We had fun yeah. doing the meet together. We did. It was good. It was good. Let's do it again. So yeah, that's the plan for this week. Oh, now, next time I hope I get to go first and, and, and you can go after it. Because yes. I feel like I have higher anxiety watching yeah, you Yeah, you do. Yeah. And you don't want that before you live. No. So I think that concludes this week's long ass video. I hope that you have enjoyed it and the little extra clips that we put in are showing our, I guess, shenanigans over That's the last That's LAB, week. long ass video. <laughs> so before we wrap this up, I just wanted to uh, bring up the coaching, the Violane team, team Violane coaching, um, I guess, I'm having a bit of a promotion at the moment. It's January, and I know that a lot of you guys are probably finishing off 2019. You've had a bit of time to relax and enjoy uh, your family and friends and all of the good food and drinks uh, and the holiday period in general. So uh, if you're wanting to get back on track with your nutrition and your training uh, and you think that uh, being held accountable is something that may help you, uh, I would strongly recommend uh, hitting up our team of coaches uh, the links for the BioLane coaches are in the description. We are below. taking we are taking small amounts of clients. Mm -hmm. I think I'm taking on five new people for 2020. That's it. But only for six months plus. No, it's nine months plus. I don't take anybody oh. for short. So anymore. if you want her, you can get her, and she's only going to take five, and that'll probably sell out this week. So if you want her, you better go now. Mm -hmm. But we also have a awesome team that are getting pretty some pretty awesome results as well. If you go check out the team BioLane Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, so email andrew at biolane.com or click the link in the description. We can help you get to your goals with personalized coaching that's actually per personalized. Um, and our coaches are very detailed. We check in with spreadsheets. They send you videos. Like it's very, very detailed. So make sure you hit those links in the description as well as buying the new reverse diet book. Yes. yes code yes, yes. reverse 20. And of course, Fat Loss Forever and all these other great uh, products we offer. And if you need training help, the Workout Builder on BioLane.com. Links are in the description. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. If you've got questions, ask. <laughs> and go buy our shit. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.